Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, took the hood off. The hood was not um, not necessary at the present moment. I've got to play with it. I got to visually look at it. Um, yes, on the hood where I cut <laughs> where I cut the hood one side a little little longer and one shorter on the other. Obviously, what happens there is the the one that has the less meat on it. Um, the one that has the most meat on it gets back, cut back to the one that had the, the least, if you know what I'm saying. That, what decides my line is the one that had the least on it because I have some to cut back on this one. I have none to gain on that one. So the hood with the less meat dictates what's going on. That's, and that's how I work. That's how that happens. I did that. That's how it's going to go. But right now what I want to do is I want to get this door locked shut. This door is not locked shut yet. I have to cut this off cut the square tubing off, um, make sure that the door could open if it had to on the bottom because it's, it's as long as the square tubing could be rubbing on something. Uh, I have to cut this tack off, cut that tack off, um, re-tack it up here and re-tack it up here. Uh, I want to put a little piece on here to cap this over here to go down to the square tubing there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to proceed to shut the door and I'll make this piece and then I'll make another piece and then maybe we can shove our hood on, see what happens. Uh, the front end, I'm not going to nail down yet because, because uh, I'm thinking that I would like to pull the front end off. Once, once I get, I know what got the hood fitting. I mean, I can weld that on anytime. Once I get it scribed, that'll fit in here. I can weld the hood on there anytime when I put the front end on. But I'd like to pull the front end on. I got one bolt. Um, no, we got three actually. One, one there, two, three. We can pull the front end off. I can jam an engine in it in 15 minutes, uh, and I'll show you how I do that. Uh, we have, like, uh, we buy it from uh, Speedway Motors. They have a cross member that's a tubular cross member. Um, but it's just at a length. You have your mount, you have your mounts, um, your mounting bracket. You have your mounts for your engine and your mounts on your uh, round tubing. You would mount it to your engine. You'd pick it up. You'd put it in there. You set it where you want it with your good engine, your dummy engine, whatever you want. You would weld the, the round tubing to where it fits or cut it off to length to put it where you want it. And it's pretty well that basic. And they have the exact same thing for transmission. So there's tubular transmission mounts too. I like to buy them. They're cheap. They're fast. They're easy. Uh, they're pretty basic. So I'm going to open this door up. Let me get in gear what I'm doing here. I'm going to open this door up. No, nope, I'm going to tack this first. Just because I'm going to tack it. And the reason being is, is that I'm going to untack it there because now I'm going to cut the square tubing off and untack it there. So take the square tubing off. So it will open when I cut these spot walls I put on, when I cut them off. That's what I'm going to want it to do. I'm going to want it to open sesame when that happens. And there's just a procedure. And the procedure is, is I'm just trying to keep everything secure till I get to that step. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep everything in place till I get to that step. That's basically it. I'm trying to get down a little bit. Just trying to keep everything in place. And I have to keep you have to keep going around it, walking around it, looking at it. Uh, you might, it might feel foolish that, um, you know, you're walking around it all the time, looking at it all the time. I can, I can stay up here for hours and just walk around it and try to find things that I do not like or I should change or I should fix or I should put on it, that sort of stuff. There's all kinds of it. All kinds. All righty, this is exciting. I'm going to get this covered in. That's exciting. Get this covered in, get that door cut open. Exciting for me because I get to see more metal go on and I like the visual of the metal going down the top how it's going. I like it. Gloves on. Thank you very much. Haven't had to run for a coat hanger for quite a while and uh, I enjoy it. These are nice and clean. Not sure what the cost of them is. But basically, I just don't buy them because of coat hangers. <laughs> basically. But they do work nice. They do work nice. Chetty.
Excuse me, sweetheart. Oh. Just enough to hold it. Jolene is in Daisy Dukes today. She's in Daisy Dukes today. She's looks and looking wonderful today. She's sparkling actually. Jolene is sparkling today. She's sparkling. I'm gonna have to open that door. Just gonna have to run through the procedure in my head uh, in order to tell you, I guess. You know. Just don't want to miss anything, I guess. I got that opening now. Uh, let's cut that out and see what happens. And that is the square to me. I ran across the front of the door. We've had it there the whole time. And basically what's going on is I have it nailed down here at the, at the post. It's nailed at the inside. I got it welded on this side. We're connected here. It can't go anywhere. It cannot go anywhere. We got a little bit of length with the quarter panel and the square tubing. Can't see it moving anywhere. We got a roof on it. The door is welded shut. The front is welded on to the, to the firewall. We have the lip on top. We're welded to the door post. Everything should be great. Let's cut it off. All right, would you? You gotta like that when it falls out. Um, you know, and uh, well, I don't know if you know or not, but if that bound up or moved or whatever, we know we would have had a problem with that fellow. Very nice. We're right on top of that door there. I want to cut that. That's how we got that door fitting nice. We kept running that saw underneath there. That's why I got that nice and flat. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. Now I just gotta make sure that I'm gonna cut up on this a little bit. I'm going to be able to, on the inside of the door, if you look over the other inside of the door, see the, see the little piece on the inside hanging down with a big circle in it with a little piece there. What's going to have to happen is when I weld the outside on, it's going, to, I'm, it's going to keep that shape because I'm going to make that shape out of the tin. It's going to keep that shape. But on the inside, I'll end up cutting that off and making a piece come down, come down straight and then come underneath of it and, and cap it all off so it's nice and strong. Uh, does not matter. Um, because I will be able to go on the inside where I weld my metal up to here like this I'll be able to go up the inside and I pull the door off tick, 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 Cut all the little things off. We'll cut the door out. We'll pull it off When I go to the inside I can just look and see where it's welded and then I'll just zip cut that all off and make a nice bottom for the door I can see now if I cut the door where I want to cut it obviously we have a post here well That post looks like to me like it's gonna to have to be cut down and cut off like that and then it looks like to me that like, that'd be a nice place for the step of the foot when you open the door that'll be a nice flat area to step on down here so to me uh, the we'll see what happens as we go I'm, I'm just thinking in my own brain that when I open the door that's going to be there some of it is we'll end up chiseling that off I think and that will be the platform where you get up in there not sure yet Maybe I'm talking head of the game, I don't know. Alrighty. I want to cut that back just a little bit more on that side. Just a little bit more here, just in case. <laughs> Did not go anywhere. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Let's watch your ice here. It's going to cut up a little bit, so when I swing the door open, when I cut it, to swing it open, it's not going to run all along that and bend the door. Um, we're going to be up here. This part doesn't matter. All this part doesn't matter. It's going to get covered up when the metal comes up. We'll cut it off after. Yeah.
I'm just getting some, I'm just, all I'm doing is taking uh, material away from that bottom that door. Just so when I go to cut the spot welds off and pull that pin out, we'll be able to pull it out. That's what we want to do. Now I know when I pull that door open, when I cut that off, I know it's not going to hit on the top post and, and do anything. That's all I'm, that's all I'm going for. Well, I'm going, I'm going for a little more than that. Uh, alrighty. So we're going to leave everything the way it is for now. I'm just kind of thinking for a second. I'm going to cut this off because I do not, I've got the doors latching and they don't fit exactly the where I want them to. So I'm just going to cut the latch off and, and put the door where I want it. Hard going sometimes. That's it. Hard going. Baby got me a bunch of bunch of dollar store discs. They seem to work fine. They seem to work okay. Good enough. The inside, I will make sure that we blow it out when it comes time. That'll be in the end. There'll be lots to take out in the end. So basically right now, I just cut the latch off because I want to be able to put the door up and push the door up or down to make it fit the best it can. Just like... Okay. I like that there, to be honest with you. Excuse me for a sec, sweetheart. A screw gun here. I'm gonna screw it shut. I think these old cars only fit so good, to be honest with you. And uh, I only basically want it to fit from here down to here the best it can, basically. Because I'm gonna put a new bottom on it. basically want it to fit flush. That's basically what I want it to fit. If you think a car, car runs straight, if you weld all the panels together, I'm sad, you're, you'll be sadly mistaken when it comes time. They do not. Uh, as I have that there, and that's fitting good, fitting good enough for me for that part. On goes the welder again. I'm going to tack that door shut. That's the end of it. The spot welds off there, spot welds off there. That square tubing is off. So when I snip them off, I still put them. I'm talking to myself. I need to know exactly what's going on. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this door to that square tubing there. Put a little piece on it, and then we'll we'll go from there. It's going to be nice to get some sheet metal. I, I like getting the sheet metal along the top. It starts joining it together and making it look like something. There's just some uh, where the door's cut off there. I can weld it to the square tubing. Just, just more, more, what can I say? More areas welded. It's, still, it's going to be welded there to the door too, but why not there too? That goes underneath, so I should be fine. I'm gonna cut a little piece for that, stick it on top. Ba, ba, ba. Let's do it. For now.
Watch it, sweetheart. Oh. Scared me. Excuse me. Just gonna cut it over here and put a piece on real quick. That's No, it's just the inside going down. Stick it on there for a little extra strength. Yeah. <laughs> Watch yourself, sweetheart. Oh, got to put that ground back on. That's the problem we had. I tried to booby trap you with that ground. cover up for that piece that's all that's all it is it does help i put six spot welds on or more than that actually everything's a help so that just caps them off the door is welded shut now i'm going to weld this door shut here just so it don't go anywhere stick that rod at This is how I do this. I'm gonna grab a bit of air because I should have you should have air when you're blowing when you're welding when you're welding heat. I always have air. I'm putting a little bit of heat in there because there's a little bit of gap. I will fill all that gap with welding rod and MIG welder. Not a problem. Not a problem. Just want to weld together here though. want the air for the keep the heat down. It's quite a bit of heat. Don't want to warp anything. Just got a couple holes there. Ten holes I see on the side. And get it up. So I'm going to weld that tube boat down there. I'll weld that all sh shut with a coat hanger. I'll connect it to the post first. I'll connect it four, five, six, seven spots, and then I'll weld it shut with a coat hanger like that. It should be pretty cool by now. Alrighty. Cool. Let's make some pieces for the side. Let's make some pieces for the side of the car. Let's do it. Gonna take and scrub this off for a second.
I, I understand there's a lot of commotion about welding over the rust. Well, what's going on here is this car sat outside for 10 years. Um, that rust right there that you see right there is not going anywhere. If I took my time and went out and sandblasted it and spent a bunch of money sandblasting it, when I come over here and welded my panel back over top, it would start to rust again because I've just welded it. It would start to rust again. It would start to rust again. So in my eyes, I, I, don't, I don't take stuff, stuff out and sandblast before I get st certain stuff done. I don't know what I'm going to use, don't know what I'm going to keep. When I boat and sandblast this, I will sandblast the whole body. That's what I'll do. I'll sandblast the whole body. And then that would give me a nice, nice ground to put filler on, primer on. Everything will be metal finished because it'll be all coarse. Uh, when, when you sandblast something, if I come in here and sandblast this thing and had it clean, I can, I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, there will be spots that will be missed when you go to paint or what a seal or whatever there will be spots on in the car that will be missed that will rust <laughs> there's spots that from brand new to old to i don't care whose car it is there's metal that is going to rust in places like it's covered up it's joined over it's overlapped it's welded together there's always a chance of rusting out um, this car could set out in a field probably for another 50, 60, 70 years, and that metal right there would not rot off the top of that door and hurt anything out in, out, out in the elements, I don't think. So, like, to me, I, I, I don't feel like sandblasting stuff that I don't need. Um, if I sandblasted the insides, it would rust after a while. It damn well would, and there's no stopping it. So I like to sandblast when I'm done and try to cover everything. That's, that's just like, I, I, I sandblasted a chassis once, and when you sandblast the chassis, there's a bunch of seams in it where it goes together. There's a bunch of holes. There's a bunch of everything. When you take that in the paint room and you do the best job you can on it, fill it all out, make it look nice, rust will still climb out of that frame because you have sandblasted it and you will not have gotten all the places where the sand has gotten and it will still come out and rust on you. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. So it's kind of half one of the other. So it's... I just rather weld them all up, grind them all off, sandblast them clean, fill it. Do not do things three and four times and uh, think, you know, if you want to, if you, if someone come in to me and say, yes, 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 sandblast her up, yeah, sure, no problem. I'll go out and sandblast her up, man. Anyways, this is a piece of metal, uh, a piece of, not a piece of metal, sorry, piece of cardboard. Um, I just took a straight piece and put on there because I didn't have to scribe it, I just got smart and just add the little piece of cardboard on that end add the little piece of cardboard on that end and now i've got my piece i didn't try to describe it i just added a little couple of pieces it was there it was straight so i'm going to put this over here yes i would say that uh, the car is nicer to work on um sandblast it yes it is um for me like i you can say every you can sandblast your car before if you want to but for me I, I look at it as a waste of sometimes product and money. And uh, that's not who I am. Product and money. I like to be as practical as possible. And to me, being practical on this is wait until I get it all welded up and only sandblast the areas I need. But this is my way. I, I hope that everybody does it their own way so that it makes them happy. I would never ask anybody to do it this way. I'm just, I'm just trying to save a few bucks. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to do. Right, baby? Trying to be practical about it. No sense sandblasting, but if I, you know, I can't mean it. All righty. And then actually, like the, some say, say welding on the rust, yeah, it's probably not that good sometimes. But when you're laying the panels down and I'm trying to uh, put them on there, um, sometimes you don't know where to 
Grind it off because you haven't got the panel on it yet. Ha! <laughs> I guess, I guess some of my methods have come to me, have come to me through uh, trying to be, uh, trying to get it done as cheap as possible. That's where it's come from. And I, and I enjoy it. Makes me feel better when I'm done that I haven't spent a million dollars. There's other places to spend that. <laughs> Isn't that right, baby? Alrighty, let's get that on that line. Let's just see, see if it fits. It's that line we want. All right, let's rock and roll this thing. What I want to do is I want to put a little bend in it. I'll put a little bend in it. Come on out, baby, come on. Come on out to play. Just trying to give a little shape to it, you know. You can wheel that if you wanted to. Sure you can. You can wheel that if you want to. And also, um, if people don't know or not, a wheel stretches. It, do, it does not shrink. A wheel cannot shrink anything. It stretches everything. And that's the truth. Wheel, a wheel does not shrink anything, it stretches. Just at the bottom there where it comes on the door, just trying to put a little bend on it so it comes down nice. I didn't want that much on it, but... Hmm. Yeah, yeah. A little bend in it, I did. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That'll be fine. I want to put that through the roller again. Basically, what I wanted to do, I gotta, I gotta have it lay on that line. I'm gonna take a little bit off right there. Do, 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 that's not plugged in. I want this one. This one here, when you wanna shape something, it's nice to have a flapper wheel. The flapper wheel can shape a piece of metal quite nicely. Uh, what I mean by the flapper wheel is the sandpaper wheel. If I want to take some off there, it's nice to take it off of that instead of a zip cut. So we're going to try to... I'm going to get Jolene to order up a motor mount real quick, or quickly as possible, see what happens. So we can just pull the front end off, maybe get a motor put in it. You love me? Yeah. Good, because it works. Ah. It's good enough for her, boys. It's good enough for me. That's for sure. Good enough for her, good enough for me. Gotta cut that other way back, cut that back. I got a little bit of weld here holding me up. It's the 
leaking air. Now, right there, it fits. Nailed it. I thought it fit. It was fitting. Get it up too high. Flush right there. No one hit with a hammer. My hammy. When I go like that, I'm just trying to check and see if it's flush. And it's flush right there. Yeah. I don't know if I should have done that. Nope, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Should have put the other end up first. Fact is wrong, Lord. Let's go up here and do this one. It'll soon tell you when you get doing it, whether you're right or whether you're wrong. I like that. I don't like it up. That's not bad. Nope, in my. down there just a little tiny bit I think I want to cut a little bit of that See, I'm down there a little tiny bit on the line so I want to take a little bit off that so I can get it the same trying to get it on right that's all just me trying to get it on right Dave's gonna check my mic I'm gonna go right there and try that looks good you got that baby there we go yeah I'm liking that I'm liking that a lot. Yeah, I'm just taking, um, I'm gonna knock this one down just a little bit. This could come down a little bit right here. There we go. Just wanted to see the line, that's all. To see the line. There it is. Alrighty, we're good and flush all the way along. Eh. Let's get our coat hanger. See, we got a gap there. No sense plugging away, plugging away, plugging away. Get a coat hanger. Put it in there and get her. No. Give a tap of the hammer. It's not quite flush in a spot. all by eye and all by preference. You can weld it up, not flush if you want to, or you can take the time to flush it up if you want to. Just a nicer job. Alrighty. Now, I'm just going to go along there and ply it on there, and then come along to the bottom. Fits nice. Just give it a quick wash off of there. Just taking a little bit of heat off. Now that line, how I made that line, I just went nine, it should be nine and a half inches down. 
There are nine and a half inches that line, that body line. We're nine and a half inches. That's what we went all the way. Nine and a half inches. So that's our body line. That's what we went with. Um, I'm going to tack it on the bottom here. And the way I'll tack that, we'll use the third arm. And I should get a piece of foam. I got some foam here to wrap around that with some good ideas there. I just sometimes don't take the time. That's basically the truth. I'm going to take the grinder and run underneath that because I can. I know exactly where it's at. Getting some mess messages from Jim. He's getting doing well on his car, from what I understand. He's having fun. That's the main thing. He's having fun. I'm gonna go. That looks good. Stand back for a second. Holy smokes! You look good, Jolene. Looks good. I don't want to push the door in. I just want to have it tight. You gotta be careful that I push too hard sometimes and you can you can mess things up. You really can if you're pushing too hard. That's nice long there. Snip that corner off so the weld looks like it's going straight. Just snip the metal off so the so the metal looks looks like it's going straight. Like I got a light straight like a straight line going on. Just something about that. Just like it go straight, I guess. Straight. Awesome. Let's do a little coat hanger trick in this in the in this this part here to show you. Some air on it, get the heat out of it. I'll build up a couple places on the inside, and then I can grind that off flush. Let's tack a few more tacks in the bottom, and then we'll go for another piece. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, you are, Jolene. You're beautiful. All right, let's do another piece. That looks good. It's going down the side. We got the nine and a half all the way along. Looks good. When it comes to f t comes time to fill this thing out, we're gonna have to grind that off. We'll grind it off flush with this, and we'll angle it down to this, so that then we know we have an eighteenth of filler that we're gonna have to put on that. It's going around there nice. Got the curve. When I put this piece on. When I put this piece on, this this the curve that I have, or the, in the metal, is going to hold this door to that nice round shape. Uh, I have to cut the skin away from the door because I can I can I can cut this open. That's just a skin there. That's just a skin. I can cut this. Um, I can cut the I can cut this in the fender or the when it comes time, but the skin has to be come away from the door. This has to be disconnected here so I can swing it away when I make it. So I'm going to cut it right down to about here somewhere, and then I'll fix it when it comes time. And what I mean by fix is uh, I'll adjust when it comes time to what's got to be done. But it's got to be separated. So when I weld this to the door. 
It comes away from the inside of the door. Alrighty, so we know this piece is not going to come open with the door. This is, I'm going to take and maybe bark a little more of that off just in case. I... I'm playing this out in my head the exact same time you're, I'm, you know, you're seeing it. I'm playing it out in my own head to figure it out. So right now, I just pulled out this little piece. I'm going to pull out this little piece of the door to know. Now, the door's not coming, coming down any further than that. We're going to draw the door. We're going to come around here and make the line that we want. Now we know when I cut this, it's going to come open because we're going to come down past where I cut it out there. And I'll have to put a piece back in that if I don't, wherever I cut it. So that's fine. So I just, I just got to know that this piece is coming up. So I cut it down there, cut across there, it'll come out. <laughs> if it's still welded and I got that piece on there, it's going to be hard when it's covered over. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. It's going to be hard when it's covered over. All right, let's put another piece on there. I found a piece down back earlier, laid it on there. Um, it's not big enough as per se, the width, I don't like that part, how it lays down there. So what I did, or all I'm going to do is I'm going to go add some to it, and then we'll make a new piece. Oh, sorry for that, sweetheart. I'm going to actually know where to cut it off, too, I guess. I'm going to cut that off here, and then we can have a new start on the hood, because this is going to go over the hood. This is over going to lap, tie it together. Excuse me, sweetheart. Yeah, there's more welding than this, this, uh, this truck. Or this, this build, then probably, you know, most, a little bit more anyways. Just a little bit. Okay, we're going there. One about an inch more. About an inch more. Pin. Shear that off. We'll put another piece on it. The sheathing's going well. I, to me, I think it's going very well. Uh, it looks good and straight. It's not warped. It's not. It's not uh, oil canned in any way. There's lots of shape to it. Everything seems to be in shape. Um, yeah. I want to thank everybody for the comments and the good things they say about Jolene because Jolene is my special lady and uh, she is very good doing her job. Like She does a beautiful job filming what needs to be filmed. I was watching the other night and my, even my heart got racing. Is he going to get it fixed? And I did, but it was pretty cool. <laughs> Hard going sometimes. Hard going. Especially when you do it the way I do it. <laughs> and sometimes I make it harder on myself. I don't clean up much. I run. 
I run through chords. Right? Yeah, I just kind of go for it, I guess, all the time. I'm going to put this piece of metal down before it strikes my little lady. It's got sharp places all over it. Look at the box on the back. It's already holding the fenders and the and uh, or the hood and the plasma cutter. The idea of putting a roller system in there and be able to go to the front, to the back, and have it roll out and lay down as a ramp and a drawer would be quite something else, would it not? I keep thinking of uh, the U-Haul trailers where they have the, 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 the ramp that goes up inside that has the clamp on it. Why can't I put the rollers off a garage door and put a garage door in there with all the hinges in it and bring it out and fold her on the floor and when I get done loading her all up, pick it up and shove her inside. Maybe have a little wheel on the end of it like a trailer, jack it up and just roll it in and flop the wheel over. I don't know. It's something to think about. This piece here, let's flatten her out. Yeah, I want to get the, you know, let's get real. Um, I, I see, let's get real. Um, I, I may as well take the front end off it, uh, put a motor in it, put a transmission in it. Just basically, you know, put a motor and transmission. I think I can buy a Vega steering for it. The front end uh, suspension parts are new, probably a long, long, <laughs> a long time ago, but. Uh, yeah, we're there. That's not bad. Well. Nope. Gonna try to knock that down a little bit. Gonna knock this down a little bit. Hoping that's there. Nope. Took it, didn't I? Where's the end of the cord? Now I lost my spot. But I lost my spot. I want to get this tacked on. Put side the hood on. Okay, that goes on there. That goes on there. Get that up on the line. I have to take a little bit off that center in the end. I basically know that the shape, the shape that I'm trying to get here is basically the bottom of the well, We want it round. We want it round. We don't want it straight, that's for sure. Up like this. Because the bottom of the door has got a round shape to it. It's got a concave in it. Concave in it. I don't get my thumbs out of there. Give it a little bit more because, because we can. Not too much more, but just a little bit more. Beautiful. See what happens, darling. Let's see what happens, darling. Well, that didn't work out so good for me there. That looks good there. Looks good there. Looks good there. Now I'm going to cut this line back here. Just trying to zip cut that straight and I'll cut this so it goes around nice. shape to it we got it matching up back here nice no uh, we have to stick it on awesome
you can go pretty quick sometimes and you get in the right rhythm I guess you get a rhythm and you get in the rhythm it's got a little bit of shape to it might need a little bit more to match up that one get a little bit of shape basically just got to worry about getting it on the line to start with Don't like that right there. That's above above that. I'm gonna bend that a little bit. See if I can't get it to fit a little. There we go. All I did is bend that with my hand. It wasn't nothing, no major surgery going on. Just now, I'm gonna leave that be because you know what happened last time. I put it on there. And it was not in the right spot. All right, beautiful. Love it. Yeah, I'm just gonna. A little bit of strain on that, but I want to put it where I want to put it, so that's why I put strain on it. Yeah, that's nice. Got a nice round door because we had a nice round piece. Flush here. Flush. Got to shove that down. <clears throat> Sometimes it's better to gonna zip cut that. Gonna hit. Couldn't get it down flush without having it zip cut. And basically what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna nail it down here where it's flush. And then hit that with a hammer, bring that down flush. Sometimes I noticed that I'm doing things, you really can't tell what I'm doing, but this if you come from this side, sweetheart, come to the other side. As I push that metal, that metal down flush, then I gotta tap this metal here down flush with that metal. And I want it to connect that one first because it came flush first, and then I can push that down. But if I push it down and it goes too far, you have to pull it out and get that one that goes down too far first and then push it down. So you're always, you're always trying to nail it, so you have to push it down to connect your next one. If you have to try to pull it up, how are you going to get in there? You're not, right? That's the game you're playing, I guess. That's the game you're playing. Right. Oh, let's get this one on. I'm, starting the, I'm going to start right here because it fits so damn darn good. Don't want to push too hard and remind myself I have this to deal with. Don't push too hard. Alrighty. Now I just cut that off to make it look like it's going in the same line. Just tack this on. Gotta hit with a hammer. It's not tight. Gotta hit it. Oh. Pull it off. Wouldn't hurt it any, but I just don't want to get hot at all. No heat. No heat! Ba -ba 
pas, papa. Take my time, weld that up and do a good job. Uh, starting to get sheathed in. Let's come back and take a look. Come back and take a, just get a visual on this part. Just see, show how nice it is around here. It's nice, nice round, laid off nice. It's good, All right? Uh, let's put a side, that side of the hood on. You wanna check my mic? Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna put the side of the hood on. I'm gonna jam it underneath that piece. Hope everything I've done is the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm just building it on the fly, man. do something there but what's going on what's going on there something's hitting obviously and that's basically what's going on I'm gonna shove that hood in there that looks good now this is what I, this is what I've got figured out this is what I got figured out I'm gonna shove this but the hood back in there not gonna not gonna put the front end on right now I'm gonna continue on with doing with I'm gonna continue on doing some of the metal work down here doing the seams making the bottom doing some other stuff because, like I said, I want to take this front end off. We're going to have to, we're going to order a mount, some mounts for the engines. Um, yeah, so what's going on here? Once, once I come up here, I'm over, I'm there right now, I guess. Uh, once I get the hood in there, get that fitting, um, this, the skin here is going to weld to this skin and we're going to cut them open. I should open, try to get that in there somehow. There we go. on that um, so yeah I guess we're thinking on a door it's not set in stone yet we're gonna I'm gonna tape it out for you it's not set in stone two rolls right there I knew there's a couple rolls over here yeah that lays nice on that fits up underneath that lays really nice good 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 oh, well it's nice now nice and tight um, so, I, I thought of two ways. I like the look of a 36 Ford door, 36 Ford door truck, the truck door, where it comes down, um, comes down, and then we would swoop it down like the 30, like the, like with this line, we keep it up about an inch off from this and do the sack same thing and bring it down there like that. We could do that. But we have a chance, <laughs> we have a chance to make a little different. I like Joe Putt's drawing. He drew it exact. He drew it nice, didn't he? The door. Like I like Joe Putt's idea of the door, and I think that we would probably just go along straight with it and make it round. It's our, it, you know, it's it's our chance to make the door like you know, like you've never seen before. And uh, why would we not take Joe Putt's? idea and run with it. Just go like that. Something like that. Seems like a cute door for that to me. Seems like a cute door. It could change. Believe me, it could change. But this is what has to happen. This goes welds on here. And then I just come in here and cut that. <laughs> cut that because that's just a piece of metal there. That's just a skin there. I've got it cut down there and that's just a skin there. So that'll all come off. Pop the pin off, pop the welds off, that door will fall right off. Then I can make this make a skin for it. Maybe I'll maybe make the outside, I'm not sure. Yeah. There we go. That's what we're doing. That's what we've done. Now we get to back and sit and look at it. The other side, come on over and take a look at the other side. I have been busy somewhat. This project's given me a little bit of No, it's given me a lot of motivation actually. We come to this the other side. I have I haven't scribed the hood yet, but what I have got done 
is I'll show you exactly what I've got done. I've come to the other side and Jolene has let me nail this door shut. So I've nailed this door shut. I've welded the seam, welded the seam, welded this piece in. I did not put this piece in because I can't because I did not scribe the hood yet. So I've got, uh, we've got that piece on the other side. We did that tonight. We didn't do the, we did the other piece on the other side, but I have not welded it all up yet. And that's what it looks like welded up. And this, and this right here, I'll, sh I'll show you what I would do. This is what I would do. You know, you get, you know, you're welding your vehicle. And uh, this is what I would do when it comes to grinding it off. This is what I'd do. That's all you get. Don't hit nothing else, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. When you're grinding, I, I would like that the, the grinding stays inside the tape. We don't want to. We have nothing against this. There's nothing wrong with it. It's beautiful. We're just grind. We would just grind the welds, and we grind the top off. We we grind it flat to this one because we know we got to weld it, and we angle it down to this one because we know we're laying over top of it. So if we can grind it down to an eighteenth or a little less than an eighteenth from the weld, we're perfect to go. But we would not grind this or this to fix that. And we've got it all down tight, and that's the way it should be ground. And uh, I would take a grinder and lay it on its edge. Hard disk grinder, brrr, back and forth, and I will show that. Uh, these seams have to go down a little bit further. We're going to do the whole bottom of it. Not going to do the front end yet because I want that mount to stick an engine in it. Had some Hot Wheels given me today. Awesome. You know, good people, right? Good people. Uh, this car here, I thought about uh, making it one time. He gave me one other one. It was red. It's called the Dream Car, Hot Wheels Dream Car, or Mattel Dream Mobile. The Dream Mobile. Uh, this one here. Friend of mine, Doug owes one, a slingshot, I think it's called. Yeah, Doug Corbin owns one of those. This thing here, is a, she's a Vegas mobile. She got dice for the rear wheel. It's got dice in it. <laughs> cool, eh? Uh, this one here, I met the man at uh, SEMA that built this car, and uh, it must be a great honor for him to have his car as a Hot Wheel. Congratulations. It's cool. Uh, that's what I've done tonight. You come back tomorrow. We'll try to do a little bit more. This is what I'm going to tell you on the, on the hood, if you want to know on the hood part where it comes where the hood comes to the front of the vehicle and it comes down and the other side comes down one's a little less than the other so that means the other one's gonna have to be cut off to be equals that one but I like this grill I like this grill but we're gonna make our own we're gonna make our own we're gonna make our own grill um, it's that's gonna inspire it in the SoCal speed the SoCal chroming truck the SoCal plating truck I've always wanted to build that, and I cut it up, actually. There's the four-door, and there's the two-door that I could have used to make it, but I, I didn't make it because it's already been made. Why, why for? Um, but I'm going to take what they have done on their grill, inspire this truck's grill, because they inspired me to make a grill like that, and that's what I think I'm going to do. Keep it sort of like that, but just, you'll see. Also. Uh, yeah, it will just make it easier on me because this grill does not fit this hood. I can keep coming up like this, finish all the way up to, like I said, the square tubing or whatever. Then I can make my grill fit what I have and make it look the way I want it to look. Over and out. I'm going to have a great night with Jolene. Believe me, you and I. Signing off from your friend, Bad Chad and Jolene.